There's our old train air handler. It's about to come out. Got to pump the system down outside, disconnect the supply and return, disconnect the zone wiring, and then install a new ARUF air handler in its place. You can see some of the water damage down on the inside. These terminals usually get rusty. I'm going to take the heater off, see what it looks like. Here's our coil exposed, the leaker. The blower's been taken out to make everything lighter. So we can carry it down piece by piece. No need to kill ourselves. Coil still, it's hard to see. You can only see it down in there. I can see it a little bit. It's as clean as a whistle. The filter was kept in it on the rack. Um, so it was taken care of and changed monthly. All right, time to get the coil out of here. We'll carry it down separately, get it ready for the scrap yard, and then move on to taking the ductwork off. Two duckboard plenums, metal on the inside, sandwiched in, metal on the outside, screwed through both is how they're kept in place. So we'll take those off and move on from there. Things nice. All the guts are gone. There's the bypass. All the guts are gone. Here's our new Goodman unit, ARUF, three and a half ton, sitting in place, not quite in place. See, the blocks have to be evened up, and we're connecting the old plum. We're going to blank it off on the top. Same thing on the front here, fit it up to the old plenum. We got the old bypass taken off. We're going to move it back across here, set it back down where it was before. Then we can braze in the copper, get everything finished out. Had to run a new drain from down here to this point here. A little bit different location than it was before. But everything's going along good. And keep you posted. We're connecting duckboard, which is basically like rigid insulation. You see it's just made of very dense insulation. And what we do is we put a flange off the air handler here. And then an actual duckboard, put a strip of metal like a hanging strap. You can screw through that into the flange and keep it sandwiched together like that. It's a little bit less durable than other ductwork, but if you're in an area like an attic where it won't be tampered with, it can work just fine. But if if you're in a high traffic area, it's going to get destroyed more than likely. But that's how we hook it up. Cut a little access hole in so I could see where the bypass was. There's some of the duckboard fittings. You see that is bend tabs over to fasten on in place. There's the attic air duct. <laughs> it's been sweating a little bit. Now we have our bypass duct back in place. We're taping the joints here. We're going to mask them as well. I have to start rewiring up the zone components. This is the bypass damper. And it works on a static pressure switch mounted in the supply duct. Depending on the static pressure in this duct, it'll open and shut this damper to bypass a certain amount of air back to the unit. That way it tries to maintain a certain static pressure, whatever you're setting it on. There's the zone panel right here. All the flex runs coming off the back of the unit are returns. Off the front, we have supply runs. There's one here, and then some on the back. It's hard to see, but everything's coming along, and uh, we'll be brazing it up shortly and restarting the unit and repairing some of the holes we made. There we go. All done. Okay, I have my transformer for the zone system mounted. Uh, we used a new transformer. I didn't want to reuse the old one because it looked like it had been sitting in water or had a good bit of condensation on it. Transformer's tied in there. There's a fuse for it. Some of the other low voltage wiring. There's quite a bit of low voltage wiring that goes to the zone panel. So, got all that wired up. Uh, change the blower speed to what I believe it will be. We'll test it out on high. See if that works out properly. And adjust from there. And about to button this up. Got our drain finish there. It's an easy trap. There's a little plunger on the inside right here that goes up. 
if it backs up and shuts the uh, compressor off. Just like a float switch, which we also have right there. All right, our air handler's all tied in. Set up on blocks, the drain's tied in. We have our lines run around. We have our bypass damper motor right there. And there's our static pressure switch. I mentioned these a few times whenever you, this is an older style. You turn the knob here to adjust the static pressure sensitivity in the ductwork and then turn it powers that motor when it's necessary to lower or raise the static pressure. That's about it. Another one of our damper motors is closed. It's cracked so it still bleeds a little bit of air by. And we're all done up here. Here's our Goodman outdoor unit. Originally a dry charge unit. 13 sear R22. Pulling the vacuum on it right now. In a few minutes we'll be done. Get the little power stealer hooked up. And we're about finished here. Just complete the vacuum and then start her up. There she is all running. Almost happy. There goes my phone ringing again. Well, oh, there it is.